Hello friends, I'm back in the saddle doing what I do best. Today, I have on a bonnet. And this bonnet was handcrafted by Afro Roots Salon here in Newport News, Virginia. Um, the owner and seamstress slash hairdresser is um, a personal friend of mine. And she does a wonderful job. She makes these by hand. The outside features a beautiful Afrocentric fabric, and she has tons of different patterns. Um, inside is like a sateen-like fabric that is very easy on the hair. She is a rock star, so if you have a chance to stop by, I will add her link to her website and address in the um, description below. So here's what I want to talk to you guys about. So... Oh my gosh, remember when like a couple of weeks ago, I had a guest, my friend Jackie, and I spoke to you all about my ex-husband calling and cursing me out, saying that I was like causing a divide between him and the family, like the children and the family. Okay, so here's the update. So this is like an update video. So I went to Chicago and I came back. I went the day after Thanksgiving. I came back today. Today's Sunday the 29th. And I like Chi Town. It was lit. Like, I was like, oh my God. Yo, fried pickles are like better in the Midwest because, like, that's where they're from. And as a Caribbean descendant, first generation American, I was like, yo, this is kind of lit. It was kind of lit. And it was really good. Um, had some hot toddies, had, um, went to Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, did a lot of driving, did a lot of sightseeing, did some shopping, got a bunch of magnets, like my favorite. Um, I got my Starbucks mug for the You Are Here collection, and I'm very festive with my matte burgundy nails and my glossy matte, uh, not glossy matte, glossy, that's not a thing, yeah. my glossy toes and my matte nail polish. So it was a good, it was a good time, definitely best and highly favorite to have been uh, afforded the opportunity financially and otherwise. But um, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. I want you to tell me what you think. So my children told me when I came back that they have some wonderful news. They have some wonderful news. They are going to be having a cousin. They're going to be having a cousin. And this will be their second first cousin, but their first first cousin on their daddy's side. So that's exciting news. Um, The first first cousin they have is my wonderful Cleo. And she is my sister's daughter. Um, And this is going to be her first their their first niece on their dad's side so it's exciting and i'm happy for them and i'm happy for the in-laws as well you know they definitely deserve it you know safe delivery much blessings ja ja bless um and i feel good about it here's the thing here's the thing i was recently cursed out slash chastised about not allowing the children to have uh, you know, this contact with the paternal side and all those things there. But the gag is, I live beyond my means and all my kids have iPhones. So everybody had their number and they could have told them. They could have texted them and they could have called them and they could have told them that they're having a new cousin. They're having their first, first cousin on that side. And nobody told them. There wasn't a baby born on that side in 12 years. My kids are the only ones. So why I didn't call them or text them or say, hey, you're having a cousin. Like everybody has their number. So I was essentially cursed out and disrespected for not keeping those lines of communication open. However, I've driven 11 hours each way, several, 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 several times, several times <laughs> to, to bring the children to their paternal side of the family. So now that there's a new baby, you know, especially now with all this death and damnation and this horrible, horrible coronavirus that has that has touched my family, that has touched my friends, that has put a dark, dark cloud over the households and workplaces of so many people, both foreign and domestic. You have life. You have life. And we're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. And that baby's gonna be strong. And that baby's gonna be healthy. But that baby has been a secret. And I take issue with that. And the reason why I take issue with that is because 
that baby's only cousins, as far as I know, because I don't know what's going on on the other parent's side, because nobody talks to me. Nobody talks to my children. So my children, I'm in Chicago, mind you. My children are with childcare, and I'm in Chicago. And they're like, daddy, 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 daddy. We're going to have a baby. Ah, daddy, we have a cousin. And he's like, yeah, no. And my kids are like, are They found out through another family member that I'm so cool keeping them from, right? But the family member had access to tell them about the baby. Mind you, baby coming anytime. So they're like, Daddy, how come you didn't tell us? And he says, Oh, I wanted to wait until it was closer. The child could born today and survive. We're pretty far along the process. Like, I'll say this, we're in the third trimester. We're in the third trimester. And there's been contact, several types of contact since the pregnancy began and to now. And my children were not made aware of any of this information. Now my thing is this, ain't my damn baby. Ain't my sibling that's with the child. Ain't my sibling that's expecting. So it has, it. Uh, my role, if I'm welcomed as the aunt, then I will be there as the aunt. Outside of that, my only role is to support my children in loving their cousin. That's it. But how can you just curse me out and call me everything but a child of God because your children aren't involved in the processes and the the like the the the, the metamorphosis and the, the growth of the family and you knew that there was a baby coming, your very, very, very first niece or nephew, and you didn't say shit. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, I just got cursed out for that. I just got cursed out for not making it, let it be, like, so the kids could be like, yang, yang, yang. And then now the kids aren't, yang, yang, yang. And now it's like, yang, 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 yang. like, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. I wasn't here. I was in Chi Town. I was in a windy city. I didn't know. I didn't know we was out here getting down with the what's good and seeing what's, like, I didn't know. And the fact that me... The ex-wife is finding out the same time as the children. My kids should have been new because that's a cousin. But I don't want no trouble. Tell me what y'all think. Like, subscribe, follow. As I already stated, I can never be basic. I just want to be regular. I want to be chill. But even my kids having a cousin can't be regular. Everything has to be with the theatrics. So tell me what y'all like, what y'all think I meant. You know, like, subscribe, follow, share. I don't know. I think it's kind of crappy that my kids weren't one of the first to know. That's their bloodline. That's their family. The other siblings and their dad have the same mother and father. They should have been privy to this information. As soon as he knew, they should have found out that day. That's how I feel about it. But everybody's family culture and structure is different. Not to mention y'all was in contact with them since then. I got receipts. Okay, so subscribe. It ain't me, y'all. It ain't me. It's literally not me. I be chilling. Like, it's not me. I be chilling. My kids are available. They got the same phone. Everybody, we iPhoned out over here. Everybody, iPhone 11, iPhone. Like, just text me, FaceTime. Like, if they don't know, it's because you don't want them to know. Let me know what y'all think. Go ahead and subscribe to me and let me know, you know, how we going to go ahead and turn these cars into stars. Bye.